Hey guys, what is going on? This is Lockdown Kwan, and welcome back to episode 9 of my Let's Play of Civilization Beyond Earth. We are playing as the African Union, and we're going for a purity victory. Last time we managed to wipe out Huan Lei and secure this southern region. Um, but will we be able to take out Gong Ren? The PAC has put on excellent pressure to keep us from being able to wipe out Gong Ren with our forward attack, Inglorious Eagles and Raptor Bug. Uh, we got a veterancy on the Inglorious Eagles in the process, but they had to fortify and run away. Um, they might get Gong Ren. This is, this is a problem. We can't let them take a city. If they get a city, it will have a million health points instantly. They'll just instantly buy defense units, buildings. The PAC is not to be messed with. There is a reason. Well, they're not on top anymore, but they were on top for a long time. It seems to be that they're falling behind in science a little bit. They only have one purity. Um, as opposed to almost everyone else in the world has two or three points in certain affinity levels. The two leaders here, LOD and Kavitha, both have four. Which is a bit worrisome, but we can't worry about that right now. We have to deal with the, the PAC. We've done a pretty effective job at uh, immobilizing them, wiping out two potential cities so far. But this third one might get through. Um, to prevent more of those possible situations, let's definitely get our Marines and secure this middle region now that the iron a wild card is healed up you know we can get the unholy thorns to heal up too and do the same effective thing let's definitely get this colonist out here um on second thought something we might want to do is not place it on this hill here because that was the original plan is to place this colonist on this hill another reason for that is desert hills are good they're actually better than normal hills but deserts themselves are bad so i don't feel that bad settling on one of them. Um, a better alternative might actually be right here. It's a bit closer to the petroleum, and it has good access to all the tiles in this region. So, in fact, let's we're going to settle down there next turn, then. Let's get Sinister Thorns back into friendly territory to heal up. And let's go next turn. Actually, hold on. This worker can work on a farm. Really worried about the possibility of Gong Ren finishing before we can take it down. It doesn't look like we'll have any units in the region to possibly destroy them. And they're advancing with a combat rover on a gunner unit. Oh my god, doing so much damage. This is not a melee unit. You cannot take that many hits. Okay, so let's advance. Always got to advance. Can our tack jet help out now? Is that combat rover close enough. No, it is not. But these guys are. Let's go ahead and shoot the slightly farther out one. One we can do more damage to. And have this marine, Clone Echo, the pride of our military. Oh my goodness. It is scary. I believe in Clone Echo's ability to make it through this, though. Let's get Rough Squad up my goodness, I'm so worried that we are not going to be able to do this. Gongren didn't gain a tile this turn, though, so that's good news. Alright, so the only way we're doing this is with Inglorious Eagles. We don't have any other Marines in the region. So we're going to have to heal up the Inglorious Eagles as much as we can in the next two turns and pray that we can get the kill using our Gunners and the Inglorious guys here. Um, Inglorious Eagles. Meanwhile, our Raptor Bug here needs to get down to some Miasma tiles to heal up. There we go. There's a nice one. We finished a marine here. Uh, let's go ahead and grab a tack jet. More tack jets never did anyone harm. And get this marine to possibly support Clone Echo here. A Yon has finished its Cyto Nursery. Um, now is probably time for a Thorum Reactor. We really could use the energy. Let's heal these guys up, and then we're going to make a little push. As our marines here arrive. To secure this region, make sure we don't get any more PAC cities popping down right next to us. Our network in Janali has finished as well, so probably high time to build a set of nursery there as well. Secure our unhealth and make sure we stay, keep growing. Let's heal up Sinister Thorns and settle our new city down. That's Bogani. Nope, that's Bongani. Alrighty, looks like I don't know the African Union names. Let's get a plantation going. Let's keep trying to build a petroleum well. 
This looks really worrisome for Clone Echo, though. Um, he's going to take quite a beating. I think he'll make it, though. Two Ranger shots and a PAC Comet Rover attack. In fact, they're so scared of Clone Echo, they just pulled out. That is funny to me. Oh my goodness, Gongren might become a city next turn. We could hit it this turn, but we need white demons out of the way. So let's move them onto the Miasma, as dangerous as that sounds. And can we shoot possibly with Sinister Ones onto the city? Not unless we move oh, this onto this hill. How much damage can we feasibly do? I We need to take it out like this turn or next. This is a necessity. We cannot let the PAC take this region. No unit is worth more than taking down Gongren before it, gener it finishes. Any forward that the PAC makes is just unacceptable. So we're going to pray that we have one more turn. Because with one more turn, I think we can do it. We'll get three shots, and we'll have the Inglorious Eagles be able to march in. All right, meanwhile, the clinic in Tabo is finished. Uh, we are dealing with two health there. And it looks like if we build the Pharma Lab, we will actually deal with all the health there. The Combat Rover pushed into Ion, so let's go ahead and deal with that promptly. We have all these gunners here. Not too, too worried. Suicide Indians and Iron Ravagers can more and deal with threats themselves. And let's get a third confirmed kill on the Iron Ravagers. Iron Wild Cards. Both part of the Iron Squad, I guess. Secure this forward, and let's try not to give it up. We do have two rain, uh, gunners. Should be good holding that zone. We got our first petroleum well down. Very good. Let's go ahead and cross over this way, and begin and work on some more petroleum well down here. Heal up our Raptor bug if we can. And they actually pulled out, so we can get a kill with right, White Revenants. That's a really cool name. Whereas Clone Echo deserves a heal. Let's get Rough Squad up. Just in case. And can we fire again with our tech jet? Yes, we can. Always get that experience if you can with your tech jet. Even if you're doing minimal damage. It's just important to get experience on the unit. We already have veterancy. And it, it'll just be a short while until we get... Uh, expertise on that unit. Please don't become a full city. Please don't become a full city. They're doing all the ca they can, the PAC, with, uh, with trade convoys to get it to become a full city. But please don't do it. Oh my goodness, don't. Oh, they didn't do it. Oh my goodness, we can do it. I think we can do it. Oh, it's going to be so close. Oh my goodness, it's going to be so, so close. Okay, so what we need to do is first fire here. Then fire with these guys. And then fire here. And move the Inglorious Eagles in for the kill. <sighs> that is so stressful. We did it though. We, we took out Gongren. We can't let the PAC take any forwards. We're effectively crippling them, if you haven't noticed. They dropped down from first in the world to third. Uh, basically, they're, they're pumping out all of their infrastructure into military units and cities, and we are effectively wiping that out. So, they might be trying to secure a forward here, or just hitting out our infrastructure. Uh, we do have this worker here, but we're going to move him down this way. Let's get our guys on these hills and heal him up, and then get a forward right here. We could go ahead and strike this ranger. Um, it's a bit close to in at 10. We might be able to counterattack with planes, so let's let them come to us. Unholy Thorns is done. I want to send him eastward and really participate in this little protectionism over here. So our Sutter Nursery is done. We actually also have the Xenomass well. Um, so I think it's time. We could grab the Xeno Nursery for 10% additional science, which is about 2, and then 1 from the Xenomass, 3, 3 science about. It's not so, so bad. Or the Xenofuel plant, which is really good for science, uh, for energy. I love the Xenofuel plant. It has an excellent, excellent quest, too, so that's what we're going to go for. Let's go ahead and get our worker. Moving 
Where do we want him? We want to build another farm. Hello there, Kraken. Big scary east of the sea. Lagan and Janali are such excellent, excellent cities. Tabo is going smoothly with that pharma lab. We have the Iron Ravagers here. Let's just have them fortify. They're moving in with this colonist. Um, so let's have Clone Echo just go ahead and take them out. Neutralizing the PAC once again. Let's get White Revenants to just heal up. They should be fine right, right next to Clone Echo. And they will heal to 84 health. Meanwhile, this TAC Jet. Get another shot off. Get more experience with this TAC Jet. It's not about really doing damage, it's about experience. What's ours is yours. Alright, sure. I don't have any For problem with the cooperation agreement. Alrighty, Kavitha, that is quite fine. I can't believe we actually managed to take out three PAC expansion attempts. That is so good. We got a little bit lucky there, but we made the right calls when we needed to, so... We could attack here with Magan. I'm not going to. We have Sinister Thorns here, fully healed. Let's just go ahead and give him a confirmed kill. He looks like he's ready to level up, too. Okay, we got another attack jet here. Let's definitely rebase this out to Tabo. Uh, give this attack jet a heal. And in Magan, I think it's high time to build another colonist. That is a nice forward I didn't realize was really an option until I saw Gong Ren attempt to settle. Um, but now that we've seen it, let's definitely try to take that for ourselves. Let's get White Demons out back and have Inglorious Eagles heal up right here. We'll secure this forward with our gunners. Get on these hills. It's good to me. We don't really need this worker. I guess we could use him to help build some roads this way. Seems like the PAC is just giving us free workers at this point. And Clone Echo here really doesn't need to be that far forward. Let's pull him back a bit. Let them come to us. And go ahead and build this petroleum well. Get Unholy Thorns out there. What's ours? And hell no, we are not giving you open borders, sir. It is most certainly a call for high, you know, war tensions, and I'd, I'd like to avoid that. It's a good thing we have a military in this region now. All right, so they're looking for another peace treaty. Again, we can't let that happen. We have to secure all the land we need before we accept any peace deals. So they're really just dropping down onto Clone Echo right now. With two... Oh, they're not going to hit it with the second one. Interesting. Sinister, Sinister Thorns gets its veterancy. We sh might be able to turn the tides of this battle here. Alright, so... White Revenants, let's just give them some XP. Nothing against it. And... Let's do some major damage. Actually, hold on. We can just heal up with Clone Echo. Get our worker... Mm, this way, at least it's onto the road. And then have... The Sinister Thorns attack over the river. Why not? Some good damage. We have two tech jets. Let's see if we can hit it with the weakest one first. Or the lowest level one first, I think. Most health two. And then hit with our higher level one. There we go. Not bad at all. Finished our Thorium Reactor, Nyan, giving us yet more energy. Um, now would not be a bad time to go ahead and grab the Gene Garden. It's good science, and it's good energy. Um, the Network is also a very good option. It's even more science. I'm going to go with the Network, actually. I, I, need, I need the science. Actually, hold up. No. We built those... We're building these petroleum things for a reason. So let's go grab a Petro Plant, and then hopefully we'll be able to get these two, maybe this third Petro Plant, and really get rolling. Okay, so they're moving in with some Combat Rovers. Nothing I don't think we can't handle with our line of advanced gunners. No 
don't think they expected such a high-tech military force. High-tech. I say this at... You're basically using Affinity Level 2 units by turn 163. Oh well. Heal these guys up. We got lucky enough not to have to lose any units in all those invasions. I do not know how we got that lucky. What's ours is yours. No, sir. And a raptor bug lift too. He's still going well. Oh my goodness. Oh, they are closing in on one of the gunners. Hopefully we live. Yep, we did a lot of damage to them. So I don't think they'll even be able to... Yep, they won't even be able to take one of them out this turn. In fact, they just gave him a bunch of XP. Sinister Ones is going to be a veteran very soon, or an expert very soon. So let's pull him away to the grassland where he'll be safer. Meanwhile, let's go ahead and finish off... We'll, we'll do damage to this one first, and then finish them off with the rough squad. Boom, boom. We ain't to be screwed with. Alright, White Reverence can get seasoned now, and we can... Looks like whatever trade art they have here is going to get taken up by the White Revenants. We'll have them just fortify. That looks good to me. Let's get Sinister Thorns here to support. And have our tack Jets heal up. They have pushed in uncomfortably close, so let's go ahead and wipe them out. Some real damage if we can. Or we push in with the iron wild cards. This will get them a veterancy, it looks like, this battle. I love veterancies. They're so good. Especially with this mod. Men of War. Alright, what level is this guy? He's just seasoned. Alrighty. Oh, that's where we want to secure. And now we've taken out that guy and secured a Yan. Peace Prosperity. Let's just keep it up. No peace yet, though. PAC is a troublesome foe. And they always have been. Alright, let's go ahead and build a mine on this gold. It's not a bad option. And let's get our worker down to help build the roads to where Bongani is. Ugh. Meanwhile, we're really causing trouble for these PAC rovers that are trying to push in. We plundered 100 gold from one of their trade routes. Very good. Especially as we have investment, and our economy just keeps prospering from it. Industry is such a good uh, virtue trait. Let's go ahead and get a veterancy on Iron Wild Cards. Very good. Get our Ravagers in position to build up, build up. We will not allow the PAC to cross down into any of these lower territories. Alibella has a lot of culture, though, so... One thing I might want to do is actually send at least one of them to establish vision. That could be a very good trade route. Okay, let's have White Reverence um, just sit here and take shots and, and be fired on. Uh, you actually get some experience from that. It's not bad. Honeko can sit here with his eight confirmed kills. That is so many kills. Sinister ones here, just heal them up. Sinister ones has three confirmed kills. Dark Guard five. Rough Squad seven confirmed kills. Holy heck, Rough Squad, what have you been eating? And keep shooting. Tiangong is an 18 population city. What has Tiangong done to itself? Oh my lordy lordy lord. Can we fire with these tactics? We can, so we will. Nothing against a little free XP. Got a worker here. Oh, what's the fastest? I think this is fine right here. Build down this way. Let's get our worker to build this mine. It's gonna give us extra culture. Gold is a nice tile, especially on a hill. Um, I like it. And our fungus here has grown up to... F as, uh, finally has a plantation on it, giving us four food and two energy on that tile. So, so good. 
Alrighty, let's go ahead and re try to remove this uh, forest and build us another farm. Tabo will, will just be a massive city. All this flatland. And then, you know, this isn't bad, and certainly the petroleum won't be bad once we have our petroleum well. Let's see what they can do to us. They're trying to hurt us, and looks like they are putting out another colonist. The PAC does not know when to give up. We wiped out Gongren, and it's not going to happen again. They're certainly advancing on the White Reverence. The PAC is just throwing their whole infrastructure at us militarily while we continue to grow. Then again, they're AI, so they cheat, and you can see that they have 13 population, 8 population, 18 population. It's crazy. Well, we've been doing good in this region. We haven't lost any units yet. And Glorious Eagles has enough health, I'd say, to move in. While White Demons and Sinister Ones could use a little bit more healing. Meanwhile, we finished the Xenofuel plant in Janali. Quite good. Let's get a cloning plant. These things are super good, and that's just going to make Janali grow even faster. Uh, then again, the Xeno Nursery could be quite good too. Well, I believe what we might want... Okay, you know what I know? Um, this is actually a perk that you can do when you're really going Purity Harmony. This is this is, this is is another nice thing about this strategy. The Xeno Nursery here, it quests for either, I think it's four Xeno Mass, or it's like something like a thousand science. And, or it's 500. It's, it's a big chunk. So what you can do is you can use that chunk and throw it towards one of your uh, techs. And it makes up for having, you know, spent a little bit of time going into Harmony. Because you don't need the Xenomass because you're not playing for the Xenomass. You're only playing for the Xenomass tiles, which help you grow as purity. And give you a little bit of science with the nurseries. Alright, let's go ahead and put iron... No, no, no. What we want to do is we want to establish contact with Lolly Bella. That is right. Okay. Let's just heal Dark Guard up. Something that strong deserves a heal. He's very s close to getting a expert level veterancy. The problem with pushing on any of the, the PAC cities is they look so strong and so scary. Let's get our attack jets healing though. Actually, you know what? No. This could be another opportunity to just blow out one of their units. We actually didn't kill him with the first shot. Let's get the second. Good. There we go. And our worker here can go ahead and remove this farm. Let's actually build a generator. I'm not opposed. It'll be a uh, two food, two energy generator. Nothing bad about that. Let's see what they do to White Reverence. We've been trying to get some veterancy levels. Oh my goodness! This is not good. The PAC finally hit affinity level 3 and now they have armor. Oh my goodness, this is very In not good. your veins runs iron made from the heart of a long dead star. Such does the universe love life. What has the PAC done? Well, they've done something to get affinity levels. Here they are. Affinity level 3. It's a good thing we wiped out their cities when we did against the forces that they had when we did. Um, they are looking very scary now. Armors are a lot tougher. I am very glad to have Clone Echo with me. And that means they also have gunners too, so they are not to be messed with now. Okay, so we'll definitely just keep healing up. And our tack jets, we now have an expert level tack jet. Can we kill? Maybe with a Clone Echo strike. Um, that leaves us a little vulnerable down here. I'm thinking, how do I want to deliver this colonist? I'll just move him up the road and then move a raptor bug onto it. Okay, for Sinister Thorns and Clone Echo, we want to move him down this way. Make sure we have this region under security. And get our tack jets firing onto these guys. Get a seasoned veterancy and do one more blast so we could get a kill if we pushed onto it but I don't feel comfortable with that 
and we'll just heal up to 82 health anyways. But guys, it looks like the episode is over. Oh my goodness, so much went on in this episode. Will Bongani be able to finish without being attacked by PAC troops? Will we be able to take a forward up here and hold it against superior PAC armor now? Uh, how will our line of gunners and or marines hold out against armor? Well, you'll find out next time. Until then, guys, take care.